hi guys happy saturday i almost forgot to put on my rings on so today is saturday saturday january 16th originally i wanted to start off this reading vlog by reorganizing my shelves today but i woke up this morning and i have a migraine and i'm not you know in the mood to take down all my books off of my shelf today so instead today we're gonna do the first part and then we'll do the reorganizing portion tomorrow i want to go through all of my shelves and unhaul all of my books. I also want to count how many books that I have and write down how many books are on my TBR because one of my goals this year is to chip away at my TBR. And then tomorrow we're gonna do the big reorganization. These are what my shelves are looking like right now. I have a tour up from last year. Uh, so if you guys want to see them in detail, you can check out that tour last year. But basically, really quickly, this entire bookcase right here are all my fantasy books. And then that top shelf right there is contemporary. Here I have poetry, classics, adult fiction. And then at the bottom, it's more like historical fiction and some ambiguous books over there. I'm not going to be really changing up kind of the way everything is situated too, too much, but I do want to switch up some shelves. Overall, though, I do like having my shelves organized by genre. And I do have some books like stacked up that I need to find space for. First things first, we're going to go through my shelves and count how many books that I have. While I do this, I'm going to listen to my audiobook, The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetti. I just finished counting. I went ahead and counted basically my total books minus the books that I'm going to be unhauling. I also counted how many books that are unread on my shelves or my TBR. So before I reveal those numbers, comment down below if you can guess how many books you think I have on my shelves and how many books you think are unread on my shelves. Today I only have about 10 books to unhaul. I thought that I would have like a lot more books to unhaul, but surprise, I guess I did it. This is just a mix of books that I've read that I'm not planning on rereading, books that I was disappointed by, and books that I don't plan on reading. Either if there were arcs just that I have on my shelves that I don't feel like I'm going to read and I don't want to have them on my shelves when they could go to someone else who would love to read them. So first up, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This I read in high school and I am never going to reread it again. And then The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. This is another book that I read back when I was in eighth grade and I've had this book on my shelf for years. I tend to like to keep all of my school books even if I know that I'm never gonna read them or if I don't love them because they hold like a sentimental value but I'm just learning that like I don't have the space on my shelves to keep all of these books that I don't care about anymore so getting rid of this one. Next up is Eden Conquered. I read this back in like 2019 and this was one of my most disappointing reads that I've ever read in my entire life. This is the conclusion to the Dividing Eden uh, duology and I like to pretend that this book doesn't exist so it is fair time that this comes off my shelf next up i have fly girls these two little um books by ashley woodfolk these were sent to me and i just don't think i'm gonna read them anytime soon so might as well give them away to someone who actually will this next book is day four by sarah lots this is one that i actually thought i was going to read but i just am not i don't think i'm gonna read this one anytime soon i've had this one for a couple years on my shelves never gravitated towards this it's like a mystery thriller um, about these people on a boat i believe on a cruise and then one of them ends up dead next up east of eden by John Steinbeck. I was supposed to read this last year in my lit class and then we ended up not reading it so I don't need this book anymore and one of my friends really loves John Steinbeck so I think I'm gonna give her this one. The last couple books are just a series of arcs so I have Six Angry Girls by Adrian Kistner and then I Kissed Alice by Anna Birch and last but not least I have Fury Born by Claire Legrand. I read this like back in 2018 and it's funny because I feel like so many people love this book and I just thought it was like okay. I never ended up continuing with the series and there's no need to have the art copy. 
In total, I have 175 books on my shelves, and my TBR is not as big as I thought. I, I remember I did a TBR video last spring, like at the beginning of quarantine, where I counted all of my books and how many unread books that I had, so I'm going to go back and watch that video and see how much I how much progress I've made on my TBR, but I only have 28 books on my TBR, which is man not unmanageable at all whatsoever. That's 15%, so 15% of the books on my shelves are unread, and honestly, that's a pretty good number I know I think last spring I had like 70 books on my TBR if I'm not mistaken so that's like I've already cut my TBR in half but I'm gonna go ahead and make a Google Doc I think and just write out the names of all of my books that are on my TBR so that I can anytime I'm looking for a physical book to read I can just like look at them all and have them all in one place but yeah comment down below do you guys think that is a huge TBR do you guys have larger TBRs smaller TBRs I'd love to know so since I'm reorganizing my shelves, I thought I'd take advantage and change up the bedspread. So I changed out my throw blanket before it was like that more holiday vibe one that was black, white, and red and plaid for this like baby pink one. I go in and out of phases of like liking pink or different shades of pink, but I don't know. I was kind of in the mood for like more of a pink vibe. So we threw that on and then I paired it with this really pretty pillow. It's as thankful. My mom has like a closet of a ton of throw pillows, which is nice because then I can kind of just like cycle out and borrow some of her throw pillows that she's not using. And then this pillow I thought just went so nicely with like this shimmery thankful. So I thought those two would go together well. And then I just kept that one black and white pillow from my last spread, but love it. Just needed a little bit of a change. And I think it's a nice vibe. This morning I was going to start organizing my shelves, but my sister and I are actually going to go to the outlets. I forgot completely that it's actually Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, so I want to take advantage and go to the outlets. Um, we're going to go to the San Clemente outlets. We don't usually go to the San Clemente outlets. The reason why I like that outlet is because they have a Converse store and I have been like eyeing all of these different like really cool Converse on Instagram. The ads just keep flowing with the Converse. It's like the algorithm knows what I want because it does um, so I do want to go to the Converse store and see if they have any pairs that I like and I might pick one out they also have H&M which I mean H&M is my favorite store like on any given day so I thought it'd be fun um, I wanted to try and convince her if we could go later in the evening like around sunset that way it would be cooler and then we could always also walk down to the beach because it's like right by the beach it's so pretty um, and watch the sunset and then that way I could also get some reorganizing of my shelves done before before I leave but she was very insistent that we leave early so we're gonna go and then we'll see if I get any reorganizing done later tonight if not I have tomorrow off because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day so I'm I can do all of my organizing by tomorrow which is completely fine this morning oh my gosh let me just say so this morning I ordered my first Illumicrate box. I didn't get the normal subscription one. I got the special edition that they have of A Court of Silver Flames and I'm so so excited. I have a long wait to wait because I think it's going to be coming out in March, the actual box, but it's going to be so cool and I can't wait to unbox it. I'm just going to have to like put it out of my mind and not think about it. Here is today's outfit of the day. Paper bag jeans are from H&M my Led Zeppelin graphic tees from Target, and then my jean jacket over top is from Forever 21. van store right now and it is a million degrees it is so hot so we went to the bathroom for a quick break and there's like a whole waiting room like this is a whole living room just here like you could literally have a gathering here guys we spent so long in the waiting room that taking pictures just taking pictures that all of a sudden we come out of the waiting room and like this cleaning lady and a bunch of other cleaning people the restrooms were closed they had already closed the doors so they have to let us out 
this is so embarrassing. We were taking like film pictures and then like on my Instagram story and then she was on TikTok for a little bit and we were talking about AOT, like it just got out of hand. We got fried rice and then I'm waiting on my boba to come. I hated the fried rice so I'm just gonna give it to my little sister at home. Hopefully she hasn't had lunch. And instead I got bowlology. It's all mixed up so it's not cute. But I got the we got the chocolate dream bowl and we're sharing it. But I wanted to show you guys the stuff that we got today because so so cute. So HM, I have been wanting like a blazer for so long. And they had this really nice blazer for on sale for $18.99. And it's in an extra large size, so I cannot wait to uh, wear this. I think it's going to be so, so cute. Everyone just needs a blazer in their closet. The other thing is what I came here for mainly, and that's I got a pair of Converse. I thought they would be cute, but they're these like green, slime green colored ones. Not slime green. It's like a pastel kind of mint green one. And I haven't had Converse in a while. So it was time to get some cute like colored ones, and they had these on sale. They were $30, I think, because they had an extra 40% off. Rakia also got a pair of Converse. And then there's like tan ones, and they have brown laces. We were looking for, they're I wanted, inside. yeah, I'm and they're calling them like my teddy bear shoes. Yeah, and they're really fuzzy inside. These are gonna be really good when it's cold. Mm -hmm. But I, what I originally wanted was brown Converse. I've been seeing those all over Instagram. I, want those. I want those. Like if I ever find them, I'm gonna get them. Or the like platform ones that everyone has. I think they're like the waterproof, like water. Something. They had those, but like leather material. But they didn't have the like the one we the normal material. I don't even know what it's called. But yeah, we're gonna go home and we're gonna watch the newest episode of AOT after I catch up on some homework. I'm really excited for this one. I'm gonna be doing a in-depth bookshelf tour sometime very soon. I usually like to get my bookshelf tours done earlier in the year rather than later. So I'm not gonna go too much in detail, but basically just kind of what I did in general is I switched these two shelves because I usually film kind of in the lower half of my shelves and I just honestly don't want this shelf to be shown because I do not support that author. So I just don't wanna show that shelf in my videos as much anymore. So I moved that up there. And then this is my third of glass shelf. I have a couple forward facing books um, just for some room for any future books that she publishes and then down here these are my two fantasy shelves I have been getting more books so I basically just shifted some of the books that were up here down here but this shelf in general looks pretty pretty similar I just kind of move books around and then I really like how this shelf 
looks now i feel like this is like my darker shelf because of all like the black books that i have down there and then this is like the very colorful shelves so up here this is like my contemporary shelf I had fun kind of stacking my books in fun and different ways and then here i have classics i got rid of my owl crate box because i really needed the space on my shelf and i've had that owl crate box for such a long time i don't need it this is probably one of my favorite shelves so here i have my adult books this is like my adult section and then i put a stack here of some of that leftover ya contemporary because i wanted to make room on that top shelf but i love how colorful this shelf looks and the vanishing half is like one of my favorite covers ever so i had to make that one forward facing and then lastly this bottom shelf pretty much like didn't change at all so still have my rack of magazines in there and then just like leftover historical fiction books thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed if you're not already subscribed make sure to subscribe and if you stayed up until this point comment down below the open book emoji i will see you guys in my next video bye i was hanging with you and then i realized i didn't think it was true i was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you I didn't want to believe my feelings for you I didn't want to believe that I could lose you If I told you